I hope that you are proud of us. My mother joined the business too, and she takes care of my grandmother, who's 95 years old. And my grandmother said to me, what are we selling? Because people are knocking on our door like we're drug dealers. Like we're drug dealers. I said, Mom, I promise, I promise that the tea is not drugs. The tea is not drugs. <laughs> so listen, everybody, it was so fitting that my husband and I, we are spotlighted in Amazing Stories segment. Because when we joined this business, we were so broken. Is there anybody out here in this audience that, that's broken? Well, we were so broken because we had done network marketing before, and we rose to the top, but we crashed. And when that happened, our whole life just turned upside down. And we needed, we needed this business so very much. And I did not answer the call when Kenny Lloyd called the first time. I, I, I didn't answer the phone because I wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready mentally. I wasn't ready. I was afraid. I was afraid. But let me tell you what happened in our lives. And I know a lot of you out there are in the same position that my husband and I were in. It got so bad that our house was put up for foreclosure. And we did not have another way because the funnel was, was closed. You know that funnel where you got that extra credit card tucked somewhere? Well, we didn't have that anymore. You know when you can borrow from your 401k? Well, we had done that so many times before, so we couldn't do that. We have uh, filed for bankruptcy three times, three times. We filed two chapter 13s and one chapter seven. So we were broken. We had nothing else. It was to the point that my husband and I are, the, you, know, you know how the air in the house is stale when finances aren't right in your household. The air was stale. We were depressed. You go to work every day and you know that it's for me, because I knew I wasn't made to work for anybody, so you, you're going to work every day to this job that you know you gotta go to because you have to pay the bills. You feel like your life is kind of stifled. Okay, that, that was us. Then you come home because you're depressed and you eat and then you watch a little bit of television and then you go to sleep and you wake back up and then you do the same thing over and over and over again because you don't feel like now you have purpose. Wow. Well, that was me. I have a cute little dog. I didn't even want to walk the dog anymore. You, you know one of the main reasons why I didn't want to walk our dog anymore? is because our pavement was cracked. And every time I walked on the pavement, it was a reminder of the money that we didn't have to fix our front pavement. That's how depressed that I was. And then we had this beautiful little girl who was in the 12th grade. And we knew that she was going to be accepted to some great colleges. We didn't know how we were going to pay for her to go to school. I had anxiety inside of me when she, you know, was, was filling out the college application. Had anxiety because I said, how are we going to pay for her to go to school? And then you got all the bills that's coming in the mail. And we didn't used to open up the mail, but some of the mail we had to sign for, so you know that that mail was important. And I had anxiety because every day, I didn't want to look at the mail because there was a reminder of all the bills that we had. And then it was the tax collector. Mm. The tax. <laughs> you know you gotta pay your taxes. Well, oh, we had a huge, huge tax bill. And so I said, something in my spirit told me to reach out to Lanika Scott. Just something in my spirit. And I did so. And I signed up with a $500 package. And as I was giving Greg Scott my credit card, I said, what are we selling? I didn't know what we were selling. 
I just knew that I needed an opportunity. Well, guess what happened after that? I got scared. Got cold feet. I said, who's going to join us? The you know that negative chatter in your head that you listen to? I said, who's going to join us? Nobody's going to join us if we post something else on Facebook. Nobody's going to join us. I don't think we're crazy. Another business. Another business. And things got so, so bad after that, sitting on this opportunity. Just sitting on it. To the chair was in our driveway, and my little girl was going to school. She looks me in the eyes, and she says, Mommy, are we okay? And I said that we were. And I asked God for a breakthrough. And guess what I did? I logged on to our back office, because I had, I had not been on to our back office. I hadn't been there. And I see all of these points had accumulated. All of them accumulated that we didn't even know that people were falling in love with total life changes somewhere else. Wasn't in Philadelphia. <laughs> Was not in Philly. I can tell you that for sure. We didn't know. And I said, that is the gift right there waiting for us yes. just to tap into it. It was right there at our fingertips. And then I see these people here in the front row. They're at a conference and they're receiving a ring for making $250,000 in seven months. And my husband and I had joined the business six months prior. So you know I was kicking myself. You know. And from that moment on, we rolled up our sleeves and we said we're going to work this business like our life depended on it. And I remember having a conversation on the phone with Kenny Lloyd, and he said, Denise and Buddy, are you ready? And I said, I promise you, I promise you that we are ready. And we're full-time jobs, so there is no excuse. We made it to platinum with full-time jobs. No excuses. No excuses. We worked our business like our lives depended on it because it did. And I am so happy to say that my husband got a cashier's check to save our home for $135,000. Yeah! Yeah! That's a miracle. I, I remember telling Jack Fallon that I looked him in his eyes and when I was telling him our story, he had tears in his eyes and what he said to, to me, he said, Denise, you do know that that was a miracle. I said, the miracle is TLC. Miracle yeah. is TLC. Yeah. And then we dropped our daughter off at college. She's, she's in Penn State University for a summer session. But you know how you have to go to the new parent orientation and the new student orientation? And they got to the segment for financial aid and loans. And I look over at my husband, and he was asleep. <laughs> he had fallen asleep. And the other parents were raising their hands. They raised their hands, asking all these questions about loans and how they're going to pay for, you know, how they're going to pay the loans back and this loan and that loan. And my husband fell asleep. Because you know why? We don't have that worry anymore. No, no. As a matter of fact, one of our weekly checks will pay for a whole year at Penn State. Hey. Woo -hoo. Yes. Hey. Yes. Woo -hoo. That's a miracle. That's a miracle. The miracle is in TLC. So what we have now is we have freedom. My husband, he bought a, a, a new car, and we're just settling into our newfound opportunity and money and all that, and, and we're starting to enjoy a little bit. And what we have conversations all the time, we said we would give all of the trinkets back, all of the, the toys back for our freedom. We have freedom. Total life changes has freed us from tossing and turning at night. Yes, total life changes has freed us from worrying about how we're going to pay our bills. It has freed us from worrying about how we are going to have retirement money in our account. It has freed us from all of those things. So, I always say there's no difference from me and you. 
And so right now, I want to do an exercise because everybody came up on the stage and they said everything. And as I was sitting there in the seat, I said, Lord, what would you like for me to say? Mm. So Jalil Coleman got on the stage and he said, he, he had you turn around, right? And said that you made this shift. Stormy Wellington had you look at your neighbor and say that you are the shift. You know what it's time to do now? It's time to celebrate the shift, baby. Come on. That's it. Come on. Woo! Yes. So, this is why we're going to all stand to your feet. Let's go. Let's go. With all of your might. Because I will never forget this. There was a Google Hangout that our founder, Jack Fallon, said, this is the beginning of the beginning. So you have not met your team members that's going to take you to the next level. You have not met them yet. Right? So with all your might, with all of your might, I want you to celebrate the team that you are about to have.